Hey guys, welcome to this very short uh, Nuke tutorial on how to import footage to Nuke. Now, as you load up Nuke, you'll just be uh, you'll just have this uh, empty empty panel, and holding your middle mouse button, you can move around here. Um, now, this is the node graph. So, with our mouse over this part of the screen, if we just hit R, we'll be able to get a directory where we can look for our um, footage. Now, I've got here. Um, a dot .mov file and an image sequence, which I've, I've made the image sequence just inside of Premiere. I just brought the footage in and rendered an image sequence. You can do it in Nuke Studio as well. It's highly recommended to work with image sequences. Um, so, yeah, uh, let's import this sequence. So this is a TIFF sequence of 165. Actually, I think this is the render I did. So, um, man roto, I think here it is. Yes, 214 the original was. So this is 214 TIFF images. Now, if I, if you can't, if you can't see it, if you've got an image sequence and you just see loads of them like that, just make sure the sequences box is ticked. Otherwise, it'll appear as loads of images. So just make sure that's ticked. Then you can click this, and you can either go next or open. If you go to next, it'll kind of take you to another. It'll import it and take you to another window, and you can select multiple image sequences. Then click open, and it'll open them all together. But I'm just going to go for open. Okay. And all of a sudden, we've got this read node, okay? So if we click this and hit 1, we'll be able to view it. Now, you may have just noticed if I disconnect this, at the moment, my project's set to 2K Super 35. Um, so you want to make sure, let's just set our properties tab to two panes. Um, just click two in there. Um, you want to make sure that your footage is the same as your project setting. So hit S on the keyboard. And there we go. So our read node is saying that this is 1080 by 1920 by 1080. So we're going to do the same. Now you can go um, select where is it HD 1080, and then it'll be the same. Um, so just click that, and now they're both 10, 1920 by 1080. So that that just means now when we connect it, there's no change. And if we were to have made a roto node or a load of other nodes would have had the same effect transform node it would be using the project setting so it'd be using this old 2k form this 2k format um, and using it on this and that will give you some problems along the way so now that now that you've done that, that that's fine we can just x out of here um i'm very very quickly going to talk you through this this cache locally if you're new to new i'd, I'd um, leave it as it is basically when you play back a when you play back a sequence, it saves each, let's say we've got like a, a grade node, just hit G to do that. Let's say you've uh, made some changes to it, just like that or whatever. Um, if I were to play this back now, um, to play it back in real time, it'll save each individual frame to your um, sort of local cache drive. And basically that's how it plays it back. And you don't really want to go messing around with this if you don't know how. But there are options in, in here. Um, you can have it to never... Um, cache locally automatically or always um, here is your format now it'll, it'll always guess this right um, especially if you're using image sequences and I wouldn't use mobs because you can sometimes get issues um, so yeah always use image sequences TIFFs, DPXs, Cineon files, HDR files, DPX files it recognizes uh, a, lot, a lot of them there is um, information on a Nuke website where you can see what it does and doesn't recognize um, then you've got proxy. Now proxy is if you've got like um, a lot of nodes going on and you've got a lower res version of this that you want to use just for playback. Maybe it's half the resolution. So if you've got that, you like a lower res version, you can load that in and then you can use that as a proxy. Frame range, obviously it's guessed this from the images. Obviously guessed correctly because there was 214 images. Um, so you can obviously, if you wanted to, you can just play back from 100 if you wanted to, but I, I just keep this to one because you can set um, in and out points if you just want to do a certain area. Okay, um, so I'll just go ahead and turn that off. Then um, not going to go through a lot of these. This is the color space, which you can obviously change if you've been provided a lookup table or you want to interpret it a certain way, you can do so. Um, default sRGB for this in this instance. And then auto alpha, if there's no alpha channel, um, you can see that my read node has got these little three colors right here. And that means this is this is made up of red, green, and blue pixels. So if I hover my mouse over, um, you can see um, just, just below these little values that pop up by here. And that's the value of red, green, and blue pixels. You can also, with our mouse over this, hit R, G, 
and B, just to see the different color information there. And to get back to normal, just hit R and then hit R again, okay? Um, or G and then G again, and so on, so on. And um, it hasn't got an alpha channel. Now, if you click auto alpha, you'll see there's a little white thing, that, white mark that appears there, and that'll give it a completely white alpha channel. If you turn it off, it's got no alpha channel, but if we turn it on, it just gives it a completely white alpha channel. Um, so hit A again with your mouse over the footage to get back to normal. And then we've got pre-multiplied. So if there is an alpha channel, ah, see, if you hover over, it'll actually tell you what each of these do. do. Um, so again, I don't want to waste too much time because I want to make it a short tutorial. But if there is an alpha channel and it's got like sort of grey bits of alpha, you, you know, it kind of um, pre-multiplies to get their colour correct. But um, basically that's how you import footage and then you can play it back. And yeah, so that's how you basically import footage to Nuke. So this is a very, very basic tutorial. I will probably do another in-depth one going into all these different uh, different areas. But um, that's how you import footage into Nuke. Um, so I'm, I hope you guys learned something there and I hope you enjoyed. So I'll see you in another tutorial. Cheers.